Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calkine. On the 24th of February 2022, Russian President Vladimir Putin declared the start of a military assault against Ukraine. And according to Ukraine's interior ministry, Russian troops infiltrated the border and arrived in the Black Sea port, city of Odessa. According to the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Ukraine, from the start of the Russian Federation's armed attack on Ukraine on February 24th to October 23rd, the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights has recorded 16,150 civilian casualties in the country, which includes 6,374 killings and 9,776 people injured. In June this year, Vladimir Zelensky, President of Ukraine, in a speech that he addressed to the UN Security Council termed the activities conducted by the Russians as terrorism. He also said that if any other part of the world or any organization acted just like Russia, which is just killing Ukrainian and peaceful people, it would be called terrorism. And recently, President Vladimir V. Putin launched a massive missile attack on cities across Ukraine, striking the heart of Kiev and other areas far from the front lines in the broadest aggression on civilians since Russia's invasion started. On the other hand, Putin said, the strikes on nearly a dozen cities were in retaliation for a blast that damaged parts of the bridge connecting Russia to the Crimean Peninsula. Vladimir Zelensky on his social media said, the world once again saw the true face of a terrorist state that is killing their people. On the battlefield and in peaceful cities, a country that covers its true bloody essence and goals with talks about peace. It proves that the liberation of Ukraine is the only basis of peace and security. Zelensky recently said that another kind of Russian terrorist attack targeting Ukraine's energy and critical infrastructure is apparent. Since 10th October, 30% of Ukraine's power stations have been destroyed, causing massive blackouts across the country. He also added that there is no space left for negotiations with Putin's regime. According to the BBC report, Ukraine says it recaptured 6,000 square kilometres of territory from Russia in early September when it forced back Russian units in the Kharkiv region. In June, Zelensky, in his address to politicians and the people of Luxembourg, said Russian troops invaded 3,620 populated localities of Ukraine. 1,017 of them have already been liberated. Another 2,603 need to be liberated. And as of June 2, about 20% of Ukraine's territory is controlled by the occupiers. And that's almost 125,000 square kilometers. It is much more than the area of all Benelux countries combined. Now, if you do like this information, please give it a like, share it, a comment on the video below, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of the most recent videos from Kalkine. But for more articles, head to the website, it's kalkinemedia.com. And this is Sage for Kalkine Media.